Hi, Adams. We are on lesson three of unit six, and here is your vocab. A perception is a noun, and that is the way something is seen. So we're going to talk about how different people can have different perceptions of the same event. And a scene is a noun, and that is a place where an event happens. It can also be um, a sequence of action in a movie, play, or book. All right, so we're going to be investigating the character today. So yesterday we talked about um, close reading and how we're going to look closely at those details. We're going to focus on Esperanza as a character today. So rereading passages more than once is important, true or false. So we talked about this yesterday. When we're close reading, do you think it's important to read that passage more than once? And then number two, what is dialogue? That is a review question. Dialogue is anything that is being spoken by a character in a story. So make sure you know what dialogue means. And we know that by those quotation marks. Here's vignette one. Okay, I'm not gonna reread it because I've already read it twice for you. If you missed the last two lessons, please go back and do those before you do this one. So number three says, what are the two different characters in this scene? So go back through, look at who are the two characters, especially this part right here. Nope, sorry. This part. So who are the two characters that are here? Um, and then you're going to choose all the dialogue in this passage. So here's a passage from that vignette. Click on all of the ones that are dialogue, that are spoken by a character that should have those quotation marks. And then you're going to write any character's actions from this section right here. Okay? So we're thinking about the characters, what they're saying, and what they're doing. And make sure to write those out in the correct spots. All right, skills. So same thing, I gave you the vignettes to go back to. And we're going to do some writing today. So it says, you are now going to write an opinion statement. Writing an opinion means that you state your opinion and answer to a question. Then use evidence from the text to back up that opinion. The question you will answer is, how did Esperanza's mood change through the scene with the nun? So here is a starter sentence for you to use. I think Esperanza's mood went from blank to blank. So you might say she went from miserable to ecstatic. And here's why. This is something she said in the text. I am jumping up and down and grinning. And you only do that when you are very happy or ecstatic. All right. So at least three sentences. Um, how did her mood change? And then always give that evidence to support. So tell me how it changed. And then tell me what the text said to support your answer. And your second writing today says, we're going to rewrite the scene between Esperanza and the nun, imagining that Esperanza is now called ZZ the X and that the nun can see the real her. How would Esperanza behave differently if she had the name ZZ the X? And if she were behaving like the real her, what would she say? How would the nun respond? Remember that details are very important when you create scenes. Think back to your descriptions and the feedback you received. Think about how to use the feedback you received into this description. And of course, look back into the text for clues about the characters and what they may have wanted to happen. So I'm going to scroll up real quick to the end of vignette one. Nope, end of vignette two, where she talks about the name. So right here she talks about how she really wants to be called something else because a name like that would represent the real her. So if it was ZZ the X instead of Esperanza with the nun, do you think what would be different? So you're going to write at least three sentences. How would she respond differently? How would she have acted differently? And do you think the nun would have done the same thing? So Esperanza is a little shy, um, not very outspoken. Ziza the X is not. She is, um, she has an opinion. She freely gives her opinion. She's strong. 
she's outspoken. So how would that scene have gone differently? Give me three different sentences and make sure to go back into the text to see what is happening in that scene. And again, that section is, what in the world, Miss Kay? Right here. So all of this is on page five, and I will make a note of that down there. This is the scene you're rewriting. How is it different if it's ZZ the X instead of Esperanza? Um, that's it for today, just your two pieces of writing. So if you need any help, please get on Zoom. Make sure you're going back into the text to find some evidence to support. And that is all for today. Have a great rest of your day, Adams.